Hello there! If you watched my last year vlog, places to visit in Moscow, then you should have noticed that I've been at Venice Ball in Moscow, and this year I went to Venice Ball in New York City. So, let's compare both of them. Mm. 15 Venice Ball in Moscow took place in Great Gostinny War that was built in 1790 and hold places of many balls in the history of Moscow. 63rd Venice Opera Ball in New York City took place in Zinkfeld Ballroom that is not a typical location, usually it's in Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York. This is the most hardest names I could ever pronounce. <laughs> 15 Venice Ball in Moscow had about 2,000 guests from all over the world. And that year it celebrated 870 years anniversary of Moscow City and was called Crystal Ball. 63rd Venice Opera Ball in New York City had about 500 people. Each ball had opening dance of doobie dance, young men and ladies. For New York City, minimum information was given, so it's hard to tell age restriction for doobie dance, and only 24 doobie dance per firm. In Moscow, age restriction is 16 through 23 for ladies, not married, and gentlemen age 18 to 28, not married, and over 220 dubidants performed that year, but did an exception that year for men because too many ladies wanted to perform and not enough men. Tickets price are different. In Moscow, it starts from around 300 to 750 dollars per one person and it depends on the seat and the food and what you want to be included and how close you want to sit to the ballroom. There is a category A, B, C and D and I had category B which cost me $620. Category B had 5 meals and unlimited drinks and 2 months membership at dance studio with private lessons and a group lessons how to learn balls. In New York City, the website was really confusing, so you can get one ticket and you don't know where you will sit. And there's even standing tickets, so you can stand the whole time, which is really weird to me. I had sit for $550 that included 3 meals and unlimited drinks, but no dance lessons comparing to Moscow. In Moscow Ball started at 8 p.m. and ended at 5 in the morning. In New York City started at the same time but ended at 3 in the morning. All ladies has to wear a gown at both balls and gentlemen wear frag or smoking. If you do pretend lady, you have to wear white dress. And for a young gentleman, they still have to wear frag or smoking. In Moscow, I rented a dress last minute because I didn't expect to go to Venice Ball, since I found out about it last minute and in New York City, I specially bought dress for this event, but I did it last minute as well. <laughs> Both events had about 8 to 10 people around your table, and I met in Moscow people from around the world and those that even organized the ball. And in New York City, I meet people from Venice itself and from New York Army, as well as the both balls are charity events. Both events had outstanding opera performances. And here's a part from some of those amazing opera stars. And of course, how can we go to ball without seeing an eight-time world champions in a ballroom dance? And here's few more people, such as two times Grammy Award winner Rain Pape. <laughs>
guys, I got a lot of messages from my subscribers that you don't get notifications. Make sure you click on the bell when you subscribe. And if you don't get notifications, check your settings and make sure they on. Otherwise, you will never see my new videos. Isn't it funny that in Russia, they invited an American opera star and in the US, they invited Russian opera star? Hmm, this is interesting. Comment down below of your thoughts. Ball in Moscow ended with different ballroom dances till 5 in the morning, but in New York City, they had some extra singers that performed classic 90s in R&B. That was surprising for me to see that at the ball and what happened next made me even completely upset. Everyone was invited in separate room for the last two hours to dance with DJ with extremely loud music and nightclub lights. This made me completely disappointed because if I wanted to go to nightclub, I would not go to a Venice ball then. Eventually, I left early because of music that was nothing to do with the event. So overall, it was amazing to see opera stars at both places, but New York City killed the mood at the end with DJ, so I didn't really like it after all in New York City. Give me your thoughts, let me know in the comments down below if you visit one of the balls before or if you want to go to one of them. Thank you so much for watching my vlog, I will see you next time, bye!